but yeah. We're back. Okay. She's here. Which ones do you want? Aaron. The okay. Pokemon cards. Do you, do you really want them? If you... Well, aren't you yeah. buying them, Terry? How much is this? Give me three dollars. If you want to get it, is it a lunchbox? Mm-hmm. It's cute. Cool. How much is this one? Yeah, uh, Casablanca. Yeah, sure. Look over at this jersey. Just wondering the same thing. Whoa! Whoa! Is she oh, oh, that's, that's cute. That is actually cool. That's a, what is it? It was showcase collection. Was it like a bank? It's just, I think, a statue. How much is this one? Three? Do you think? Yeah, I'd get it. It's, it's cute. cute. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. I would get it. <laughs> that glass slipper was one of those perfect examples when you're out yard selling. I've been yard selling, you know, almost every weekend during the summer for over a decade. And I start to see patterns. You start to see patterns. And I overlooked that glass slipper. It was in like a box that reminded me of like a die cast car box. I thought, you know, I just glanced at it and I didn't even look closely at it. But it was a Disney showcase glass slipper. The lowest one available on eBay right now is uh, $69.99. That's local. That's basically in the US. There's some stuff in the UK that's a little cheaper on bid, but we should be able to probably get, I'd imagine like 40 to $80 on that for a $3 purchase. It's a no brainer. And it was a pleasant surprise. Definitely felt like it was going to be worth more than three. We didn't look it up there until we got into the car, but uh, it was a pleasant surprise. It was worth quite a bit more than we thought it would be. It's just funny. Wisconsin little shot glass and a cheese thing. That's adorable. That I don't know if I want it, but it's adorable. Oh, that's cute. It's a thing right there. I don't know what it is though. Oh, this Super yeah. Mario. What is it? Uh, it's just a little figurine. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, decoration. How much is this? A couple bucks. How much are you asking on the Pokemon stuff? Uh, it's sell all of it for starting price twenty. I know a couple of people asked and they said they come so back, but they know what for they For just all this, yeah. the Pokemon stuff. Yeah. How much is the magic stuff? Oh, it's not magic. This is. Oh, um, sorry, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu my bad. Yeah, that's that's a lot of stuff. So probably I don't... more. Oh, that's okay. How much do you do you have an idea of what you want on it? Mm -hmm. I'll I'll get this for twenty. Okay. I don't really know much about Pokemon, but I'll uh, for twenty. I'll. It looks like there's some cool stuff in there. So. Yeah, I have more Yu-Gi-Oh in here too, like a, an actual deck. But I don't know. I was gonna try to take to offer up and see if I can get something higher, but I hear you. It might not be a bad idea. Yeah. Uh, I honestly don't know. I'm yeah. more of a sports card guy. Yeah. But I love cards. God, general. I used to have. I went to a yard sale and I used to have like really old style sports cars and I can't find them. I'm so mad. They were baseball cards that were like came on like actual cardboard. Oh yeah, I remember those. Yeah. I don't know where those are at though. They're like mint condition. Yeah, I'm I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a newbie when it comes to this kind of stuff. Although I just know the basics, you know, shiny. It's got a lot of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some of these are. <laughs> and like... then like if you look at the dates and I don't know when these. I mean, what's. Yeah. But yeah. We're back. Okay. She's here. Which ones do you want? Aaron. The Pokemon okay. cards. Do you, do you really want them? If you, well, aren't you yeah. buying them, she, she did come first. Yeah, that's, she came first. That's yeah. Fine. No, it's if if you guys, you guys were the first ones that really wanted it. So I am a fairly conflict averse person. Dawn, on the other hand, she came right out and said it. I mean, that's what I should have said. I was negotiating for that. 
They just barged in on the sale, something they were talking about. They had left the yard sale. Nobody was there when we arrived. And then the way she barged in was really, really kind of rude, honestly. And I didn't pick up on it immediately. Just stay tuned, kind of pay attention to it. Dawn afterwards was telling me all about, you know, like the things she was saying in the background. So just stay tuned, listen up. It was, it was a weird situation. I was uncomfortable and being uncomfortable, I immediately backed off because I could feel he was uncomfortable too. And I don't want him to be uncomfortable. That's just how I am. So just, this is going to be interesting. On this stuff? He said this for 10 bucks. Hmm. Starting for all this, more. probably 50, but you know. 50? Yeah. For like the whole book, all the cards, the deck. Um, you don't collect those? Yeah, it no, works to make a sale with the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Those are yeah. different. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. And then he has this too. And what's this one? This is just like, we call Random it trash. Just, just, no, it's still Pokemon, but it's like comments and like just so you, trash stuff. This, this is the nicer stuff. Right here. This is 10 bucks for the whole thing. Did you want to look at it? I've looked at it. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. There isn't anything in there you want? Uh, it's about half a Yeah. I want to look at these real quick. Okay. Did you already, did she ask you how much this was? Yeah, I said, um, I think you both. Yeah, that works. Well, there was something that, there was something that, well, then let him have. Yeah. Okay. Well, there was yeah. something Sarah wanted to look at, and that was that she was looking at. So this was this. Yeah. How much is this? Um, a couple bucks. Okay, cool, because I know my daughter wanted that. Okay. So that I'm going to take that, I'm going to look around a little bit. Okay. All right. Do you have, like, Venmo or PayPal? I do. Yeah. I got okay. Venmo. Um, would you do 60 for all this? So basically 10 for that other stuff and yeah. then the 50 you want for the magic. Or however you want to slice it up. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe not including this stuff. Because this is the stuff that I'm like really trying to just... Because I'm moving so I'm trying to get like as much as I can. Um, that's like the only stuff I'm anal with the solar yard sales, just the, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Okay. That's the stuff I used to collect in the day. So if it's basically 50 for the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, this and that, right? Um, that, that's what you said on it, right? Yeah, I think I said 50 on this. Oh, you know, oh, this is different. Okay, yeah. my bad. Okay. 50 yeah. on the binder. But I don't. For this, I can do 20 for all 20. that. Okay. Is this something you collected for a long time? Yeah, so that's why that's... that's no, I understand. Money. I totally yeah. get it, man. Don't ever sell anything you don't want to. Unless you get a price you're happy with. Yeah. It's simple. I would be a little bit more like, I'll pay you this if I knew what the hell I was yeah. doing. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I flip stuff. That's why I do like my little uh, GoPro stuff. But I don't know what I'm doing. I just like this stuff. Oh, I, know I love, yeah, no, I, I do uh, like videos for garage sales and stuff around the neighborhood. So like I said earlier, I've been doing this for a long time. And at this point, I let people know I'm a reseller. I honestly don't care. But if I'm being honest, and you'll see, it kind of bit me this time. It kind of messed with my sale. Um, looking at it, looking back at it, it probably was a deterrent. You're going to see what happens. Um, but just, it, it ended up hurting me. Usually, though, surprisingly, it helps me. People have more stuff. They'll make deals. They're really cool about it. Usually. But this time, uh, didn't work out in my favor. So I don't know how I would do on this, but I like it. <laughs> That's part of it. Like, I want to learn. Yeah, just some of this stuff was actually when I was in, like, middle school. So it's like, and I, I looked at some of the pools, and I was like, I could probably make more than what I'm getting at a yard sale. For sure. For all that. You yeah, know, like yeah. I will, you know, I'm going to, I'll, I'll give you 50 on that. Cause I, I think there's shiny stuff there and here's the way I look at it. Cause I flip stuff yeah. at the very late at the very least. Cool. I'll, uh, I'll learn what's good and what's not. So yeah. if I make my money back, but I learn, you know, oh, that's a good card. And that one maybe wasn't as good. I'm cool with that. Oh, so thanks. I'll do 70 for all that. And if you want to hold on to this, I guess, <sighs> are you okay with that? You don't know if you want to let this one go? No. Yeah, I should probably take it off because yeah, now that I'm actually presented with 
with the option, it's like maybe not. Okay. Yeah. I'll hold off from this stuff. I'll take it off the sale too, because it's just like I feel bad with people. Yeah, let me know. If you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll do 20 on this though. Okay. Does that include that? Yes. Yeah, it's both those. Yeah. It's stuff you've collected for like 10 plus years then? Yeah. So I'm just I don't like, blame you, man. I'll throw in the wallet too. Oh, thank you. Just trying to get rid of some stuff. Oh, yeah, we could use a wallet as you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you want the little. No, you dude? take all that. Oh, like, oh, that dude right there. Oh, two bucks on him, right? Uh, you want yeah. him? Yeah, I'll take him. Um, yeah, your best bet if you want to get full value, go on eBay. Okay. Just go individually. Yeah. Do you have the TCG Player app? I don't. Get the TCG Player app and you can scan each one individually. Okay. There's a lot of shiny stuff. I have no idea. That could have been amazing. Yeah. It could be worth 50 bucks. I don't know. But probably worth more than 50. Yeah. It I would have. have been worth a chance for me just to learn. Yeah, the um, only reason why I'm scared too is because I had a Pokemon card recently and, yeah. I, and I sold, like I used to have a lot more Pokemon cards. My buddy actually bought it. He, he sold it for about 700, but he bought it for me for like 200. Did he grade it or was it he like- He graded it too. So that's, that's so, if you become, you know, if those look nice too. Yeah. That's a whole nother game if you want to play in that. Yeah. Some of those might be worth sending out to be graded. Yeah. It's going to cost you like 20 to 30 a card. Yeah. But if they come back 10 and those look, I don't grade, but yeah. those look really nice, like you took care of them. So yeah. if you're willing to play that game, you probably got a lot of money sitting yeah. there. Well, I wouldn't do it, but some people do it. Yeah. So good luck, man. Thanks. I appreciate you. you. Thank you for the deal. This is fun. Yeah, thank you. While I was editing this footage, there was definitely those two things that really stood out to me that kind of messed up that deal at the end. Me saying I was a flipper, that probably didn't help. And then like you heard, she was chiming in saying, I wouldn't take that. I wouldn't do it. It was really weird, really off-putting. She came in with a really weird energy. Um, I backed off and, um, you know, I was going to let them buy whatever they wanted. But um, it was just odd. It was an odd experience. Um, I, I, I will always tell people, and you saw that in the video, I'll always tell people they're going to make the most money on eBay, you know, if it comes to that point. Of course, I'm trying to find some deals and flip stuff myself. But at that point, it made sense to me to just tell him what he should do if he wants to make the most amount of money. What will probably happen is he'll put it on offer up and, and maybe make a little bit more than 50. But if I were him at this point, you know, I, I told him some stuff, I would maybe grade a couple of those cards. My gut was telling me that that was a good deal. I don't know much about Yu-Gi-Oh, but based on the fact that he said he had that stuff in mid middle school, he had a lot of copies of stuff. I looked up some stuff. It seemed like several of them were like six or seven or eight dollars, and there was probably stuff that was worth more. I would have made money on it. Uh, I also was not super sure what that was worth. I was honest with him. If it was sports cards, I probably could have told him down to, you know, the quarter what it was worth. But with that kind of stuff, I'm trying to learn. I got excited about it because I like cards, not just sports cards, but all cards. I wanted to make that deal. $50 is a big spin for me. Uh, I was willing to make a, a take that chance, but it just didn't work out. So let me know what you think of this interaction. Do you think she was out of line? Um, I have, you know, no problem with him deciding to keep the items, but let me know what you think down below. I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.